<laughs> All right, you're here with MMA News Leak uh, with Evan Dunham, myself. So, uh, what's up, everybody? Thanks for the support in this last fight. It means a lot to me. You know, first loss, but it's not that big a deal. I'll come back even stronger and harder. So, can you show us the cut above your eye? Oh yeah, it's uh, eight stitches and then six stitches. So it's not too bad. I've had worse, you know. So. It'll heal up and no other injuries, so I'll be back in the gym next week, you know, getting after it. Now, the judge's decision was, uh, we feel at MNA News League that you got robbed. <laughs> How do you feel about the judge's decision? I feel pretty robbed, you know, but uh, whenever you leave it to the judges, you know, anything can happen. So, uh, I really can't, you know, complain too much because, you know, I didn't do my job. My job is to finish people, so... You know, like whatever happens, happens, and I got dealt a bad hand, and I'll live with it. Um, have you spoken to Dana about it? Yeah, I spoke to Dana about it. You know, he just said the same thing he did in the post-fight conference, you know, that he thought it was a bad call, and, and you know, I thought I got robbed, so. Were you hurt at all during the fight? Uh, no, I wasn't, I wasn't hurt, you know. When he split me open, I didn't realize how bad it was, okay. you know, but, uh, I just knew it was getting in my eye, and uh, the uh, cut man, Rudy, did a really good job of uh, it was getting it all up. Yeah, that's a good yeah. line there. Yeah, the first, first, at the end of the first round, it was definitely all up in my eye and stuff. I couldn't see too well, but uh, going into the second and third round, he did a real good job on you know closing it up enough for yeah. the fight. Yeah. So, how do you feel about uh, your your strength and and what you had in your gas tank going into that last round? I felt great, you know, I felt real strong. My coach Norm Turner, he uh, got me to a level of fitness, you know, that I haven't been at before, so, uh, you know, I felt really strong. I didn't feel like sure could, you know, overpower me too much, and uh, my cardio was great. I could have gone two more, and I wish I would have had two more rounds, you know, so. How do you feel about Shirk's power in general? Uh, he's a strong guy, you know, he's always been really strong, but, um, you know, he wasn't as strong as I thought he was going to be, you know. Um, I've gotten my strength level up quite a bit, you know, even though I got pipe cleaner arms, you know, I felt pretty strong, so. <laughs> How was the uh, weight cut for this? I know you walk around a little heavy. Yeah, I can get, uh, you know, I'm 85, you know, I'll get to the high, you know, like 90s, but uh, I, I do it slowly over time, you know, it takes me about two and a half months to get down to weight. I do it smart, I do it right. Uh, it was it was tough for sure, but you know when I walked in the cage, I was you know about 20 pounds heavier and fe feeling really good. So even with the weight cut, how do you feel? How did you feel uh, even after the third round? I felt great. You know what I mean. I, I, I still feel great. You know I don't think the weight cut hurt me at all. You know because I did it right and slowly by dieting right. You know I didn't do any extreme, you know, weight, you know, loss the last day, I only ended up cutting like five and a half pounds of actual water, so it wasn't an extreme cut, so. Are there, uh, there big changes in your diet when you, you know, get close to a fight? I mean, how, how does that, how does that work for you? Yeah, I, you know, I st stick to just like, uh, uh, gluten-free carbs and that sort of stuff, so it goes right through you, and, uh, you know, I just really strict on my diet, you know, and I'm actually looking to work with a nutritionist after this this next fight, you know, and uh, hope to hone it a little bit better so I can keep my weight just a little bit lower, but uh, I felt good, you know what I mean? I felt strong and big, so it's always a good thing. What's the next up on the horizon for you? Have you spoken uh, uh, to Dana or Joe about that, or who's somebody that, that you'd like to uh, tangle with you in chance? Uh, there's nobody in, in particular that I want to go after, you know what I mean? I just want to keep fighting better guys, you know, I don't want to take a step down, I want to keep fighting tough guys, you know, I think I could have won that fight, and I'd love to fight Shirk again, but I understand he wants to keep moving up, and so I respect that, you know what I mean, so. Uh, I, I don't, I, it's tough to look at this and, and, and call it a loss in my opinion, I understand, you know, the black and white of it, to, to fight fans and people that, uh, that understand the sport, they know, you know, he really did win that fight, so I don't think, I, I don't think the way he I don't think he'll be demoted in, in type of challengers after this. That I can I feel confident about the man this week. Yeah, I hope so, and I think that will be the case. So I think they'll give me another real tough opponent, which is which is what I want. And uh, you know, I'm just taking a couple weeks off, and then we'll get back. You know, and we'll figure out what's going to go on next. You know, but I'll be start training by the end of the week. So if uh, if you had a say in the matter, who would you want to fight? I don't know. I don't. I don't ever throw names out there just because I, you know, 
Joe's real good at his job, and I'm going to let him do it, so <laughs> I don't want to step on anybody's toes. So. Evan, at what point during your career, was it during a sparring or a rally or rolling, did you know that you had what it took uh, to compete at the highest levels of mixed martial arts, sport of mixed martial arts? Was there a point where you yeah. like the light came on? Yeah, I think it was when I originally came down here to Vegas to train with Randy at Randy's gym, you know, and I got to go with the Gray and all those guys. You know, I fought Gray previously, but I hadn't, you know, done any training. But I got to come down and train with all those guys, you know, Hurrah and Campman, uh, you know, Maynard, Griffin, uh, and I was able to compete with them, you know, and not not get demolished, you know. So I, I figured here, if I keep working hard, that would be able to compete at a real high level. So. You know, it's when I came down to Vegas for sure. Those guys, you know, helped me a lot and kind of instilled into me, you know, that hey, you can do it if you want to. So very good. So that's when the light came on for that. I can exactly. do this. Though. I'm pretty good at this. Thing exactly. right I knew it was going to be a lot more work, but that, you know, sure. uh, so that's I awesome. still do need work, but well, everybody no. does. So yeah, you're you're you're, you're without a doubt headed in the right direction. That is pretty obvious, judging yeah. by your, your your recent fights. No, thank you. How do you balance training and uh, living in Vegas? Uh, easy. I don't go out. <laughs> uh, only times I go out is when I got like family in town and they want to go to a casino for a night. We'll go and you know put twenty or forty bucks on the table and and sit there and milk as long as we can. If we get you know a couple free drinks, it's worth it. You know, but I don't go do the club thing or anything like that. I already you know I got a fiance, so I just chill at home with my dog and go to the park and that's about it. So it's pretty easy. So it was like so when you got down here to Vegas and started. Mix it up with those guys, and, and, and you were more than holding your own. That's when you realize yeah, I can do this. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, you know. And uh, yeah, it's just you know being able to go with top level guys, you know, instills that confidence in you. It's sure. a huge advantage being able to train with guys that you know are better than the guys you're gonna fight. Okay, you know what I mean? Because well that way, when you go into a fight, you're like, okay, let's do this. You know, uh, I've done it every day for the last three months, sure. so this is nothing new. So you, you know, it's a, it's a big confidence boost. Good stuff. Man. So let's say you're talking to a young fighter coming up, and he wants to know how to make himself, you know, better and get himself ready. What would you? What advice would you give him? I say just find the best guys out there that you can have access to. I know everybody can't just pick up and move, you know, but uh, just find guys that are good at what they do and learn from them. And just, you know, the thing is, the only thing that's going to make you good at this at this sport is hard work. You know what I mean? So you got to put the time and the effort in, and don't half-ass anything. So if you do that, good things will happen. So. Well, you got to believe in yourself because nobody else will in this sport if you don't believe in yourself. I would say this though. I mean, when you get again to the levels you're at, everybody works hard. Yeah. Okay. What is it about you that sets you apart from other guys that work hard? Because I know you're, you obviously have a tremendous work ethic. There's got to be more to it like, than just your personal talent yeah. or just your desire. I mean, what is it that sets you apart from other guys? Uh, I think it's it's just believing in yourself. You know what I mean? Like I was saying earlier, you got to believe in yourself and, you know, not second guess anything. So right on. that's the big difference. Okay. I think, so. Okay. Very, very good. And uh, stay tuned to MMA News Link.